we are going to look at adding positive and negative integers. Let's start by looking at our number line. Number lines can really help you with addition. The first type of addition we are going to look at is adding a positive number. You may have done something like this with numbers on cards. We are going to use brackets to replace the cards. When we are working out the sum, the first thing we do is to put our finger on the first number reading left to right. Positive 4. Positive 4 is followed by a plus sign. This plus sign is telling us what to do. We call this an operation. This plus sign is an operation symbol telling us to add. Next we look at the number we are going to add. In this case it is a positive number we are adding. When you add a positive number you move up the number line. In other words to the right. We move 5 to the right. This arrow shows the operation of adding positive 5. We can now read off our answer from the number line. Positive 9. You can see we are still using brackets. We wouldn't normally write the answer like this. So let's get rid of the brackets and the positive signs inside the brackets. This is how we would normally write the sum. Next we are going to look at adding a negative number. We are going to work out positive 4 plus negative 6. Again, to make things clear, we are going to use brackets. We start in exactly the same way as previously. Put your finger on the number line at the first number. Positive 4. Next, look at the operation symbol in the sum. We are adding. Now look at the sign of the number we are adding. It is negative. So how are we going to handle it? First let's think about what we would do if it were positive 6. Adding a positive number, we move up the number line. This is what adding positive 6 would look like. But we are actually adding negative 6. This is different from adding positive 6. So our only option is to go down the number line. This is what adding negative 6 looks like on our number line. Now we can read off the answer from the number line. Negative 2. Again, this isn't how we would normally write the sum. So let's take out the brackets and the positive signs inside the brackets. This is how we would write the final sum. So, we have seen that when you add a positive number, you move up the number line or to the right. And we now know that to add a negative number we move down the number line or to the left.